in this question let z be a complex number with non zero imaginary part so it is given that if z is equal to we assume x plus delta y then y is not equal to zero then if this is a complex number which is a real number then find the value of modulus of z square so that modulus of z square they are asking so if z is x plus iota y that modulus of z is root under x square plus y square so modulus of z square is x square plus y square so basically we have to find the value of x square plus y square right now let's start with saying that alpha equal to 2 plus 3 z plus 4 z square divided by 2 minus 3 z plus 4 z square so if this is a real number we can say that alpha is equal to alpha bar right but if this is a very big number if we write uh, this number as alpha is equal to alpha bar there will be a lot of calculation so what we prefer we try to first simplify this expression so we can write this numerator 2 plus 3z plus 4z square in terms of the denominator and we try to simplify it alpha is equal to we can say 2 plus 3z plus 4z square divided by 2 minus 3z plus 4z square we can write this as 2 minus 3z plus 4z square plus 6z so 6z minus 3z is basically plus of 3z and divide by 2 minus 3z plus 4z square now we can write this as alpha is equal to this part divided by this part is simply 1 plus 6z divided by 2 minus 3z plus 4z square so basically we are solving for this quantity to be a real number so we can say if this quantity is real number so if we subtract this one from this real number now this is again it is a real quantity only so we can say that 6z by 2 minus 3z plus 4z square is still a real quantity correct now further if we divide this whole expression by z so we can say that 6 here it will be 2 by z minus 3 plus 4 z so now this quantity is real 6 is already real 3 is already real so we can say that if 2 by z plus 4 z should be real number now further we can say that 1 by z plus 2 z should be real so what i am trying to imply is that if we can reduce this number like this so we have to solve for that finally we have to solve for 1 plus z plus 2 z should be a real number so it is fairly simple let's say if this is some alpha dash so we have to apply that condition that alpha dash should be equal to alpha dash bar because now this quantity should be real quantity so now we can write this that if if alpha is real number so if we transfer this one here so we can say that 6 z by 2 minus 3 z plus 4 z square is should be real number now if we divide by z so this is 6 2 by z minus 3 plus 4 z should be real number now from here we can say that 2 by z plus 4z should be real number we can take 2 also common and we can say then 1 by z plus 2z should be real number so let's say this is alpha dash if this is a real quantity then we can say that 1 by z plus 2z should be equal to its conjugate so 1 plus 1 by z bar plus 2 of z bar we can write this as 1 by z minus 1 by z bar is equal to 2 of z bar minus of z we are shifting this here and this part here now take lcm we are getting z bar minus z by z z bar is equal to 2 times of z bar minus z then initially they gave that z be a complex number 
with non zero imaginary part so we can say that already they are saying that z is not equal to z bar so if z is equal to z bar then only we can say z is a real number so they are saying with non zero imaginary part it simply means z is not equal to z bar so here we can cancel this part so what we are getting from here and we know that z into z bar we can write it as modulus of z square so this is nothing but 1 by modulus of z square is equal to 2 what they are asking modulus of z square that is equal to 1 by 2 so that is 0.5 correct or so this is method 1 now otherwise now after reaching here we can say that 1 by z plus 1 by z plus 2z is a real number so if we are saying z is x plus iota y we can approach this so if we put here x plus iota y plus 2 times of x plus iota y if this quantity is a real quantity so that imaginary part of this we can say imaginary part of this should be 0 so imaginary part of this if we write x minus iota y by x square plus y square so what we are doing we are just multiplying in and dividing it by its conjugate so this imaginary part of this should be 0 so now we can say this is that imaginary part of this is nothing but y with a minus sign by x square plus y square and fr from here imaginary part is iota times 2y so 2y so this is the imaginary part this should be equal to 0 that y they already gave y is non-zero so we can cancel this so what we are getting is 1 by x square plus y square is equal to 2 that is x square plus y square that is modulus of z square value is 1 by 2 that is 0.5 so I guess this is a fairly simple problem asked by J 2022 paper 1